All right, greetings, friends and YouTubers. One of the challenges I've found of being stuck at home a lot is that uh, I get bored pretty quick. So I've uh, dusted off a, a, a game that I fell in love with many years ago called Orcs Must Die. So what I wanted to do is uh, introduce you to it if you haven't already heard of it. It's on Steam, so if you have Steam or a Steam account, you can download it. It's pretty cheap. It's one of my favorite games. Essentially, it's a defense type of game. Uh, but, but the animation is just fantastic and the name of the game is Orcs Must Die. So as you can imagine, the goal is pretty simple, right? It's in the name. So I'll, I'll walk you through one level, uh, give you some tips and tricks. If you're interested, it might be a good way for you to kill some time as well. So at this point I've already started the game and I'm, uh, I've selected the challenge, the tunnel, or the, uh, the specific place. I'm, I'm selecting all the weapons that I'm about to use in this one scenario. I think this one's called the fork. <clears throat> so there's a few that, uh, that you need and, and this is on the nightmare level or nightmare setting which is the, high, the hardest setting you can get. So there's one, one of these tools in particular that you need. <clears throat> or at least I need uh, to beat it and it's that mushroom cap on the very end. I'll, I'll talk about it as we walk through though. So what's different about the nightmare is that it doesn't give you a nightmare setting, it doesn't give you a chance to set up so you just enter the game and instantly the orcs are going to start rushing you. Whereas in uh, I think what they call the war mage setting you actually get to set up your defenses in advance but this just jumps right in. So I threw down a barrier which is just a way to funnel your orc opponents into uh, the route that you're wanting them to take and then I put a tar trap down which just slows them down now I have a bunch of weapons at my disposal if you look on the very bottom they're numbered one through nine and then zeros on the very end the first one's your standard magical crossbow that has countless bolts in it and you never run out of them so you can just shoot that thing all day long the second one is a belt that gives me the power to throw wind at and so like right there you'll see the orcs flying away from me it's a good way to get a group of people out of your face quickly uh, if they start to overwhelm you. The third one I'm not going to use a lot on this level, but you'll see when I use it, and it allows you the chance to send some uh, frost bolts out at your enemies, which essentially freeze them into place <coughs> for a brief moment. The fourth one is a way to re to re regenerate and to, re 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 uh, to build your health back up, right? So it essentially sucks the life out of your enemy <coughs> and uh, gives you their life. Now I'm laying a trap here that's essentially like an in-floor furnace and on a, on a timer it pops up and it's going gonna, it's gonna to blast what's ever in front of it. So I've got it pointed at me because I know that those orcs are going to be coming at me. So as they pile into this little corridor that I'm building, they're going to get flame broiled just like that. Alright, and so this is the standard carnage that you're looking for in this game. Right? The whole goal is to defend. There is a portal behind me which... I don't even believe I'm going to see this game, but there's a portal behind me, and you're trying to prevent any of these orcs, any of the bad guys, because there's we got a few other bad guys besides orcs in here, but you don't want any of them to get in through the portal, and you can only, if more than seven of them get through, you've lost. Ideally, you don't want anybody to get in front of you. So, what I'm doing here is just burning through the hordes of orcs, trying to get some time and build up some cash. You can see in the lower left corner I have a counter there and essentially those are points that I can spend on all of the traps that I need to deploy. So you can't you can't deploy unlimited traps. You have to have money. Every like that one will cost me four hundred dollars or four hundred gold or whatever it is. This one's gonna cost me a thousand. But they're well worth it. <clears throat> the one on the wall shreds the enemies. It's kind of a gory game so not for uh, not for anybody who's squeamish or doesn't want to see gore. trying to build up for the big setup because the waves are going to get bigger <clears throat> and there's going to be some more powerful creatures that are coming at us so slowly you want to build up your defenses now one thing worth noting is the barriers on this and the, on the nightmare level they can actually get beat up and damaged so uh, there's certain things that the enemy the enemy doesn't necessarily attack them but if they're if they're around and they're swinging their axes and whatnot those things can get damaged to the point where they just fall apart and you got to replace them if you want them there and generally you do want the barriers there because they help to funnel the enemy into, into your traps. Nope. 
Sometimes they get a little close. Okay, so. <clears throat> this isn't the best layout that I've done, but eh, hopefully it gets me through this level. The orcs aren't the real problem. Uh, the real problem is going to come when we get some or ogres uh, and some, uh, some jackals. The jackals are fast and the ogres are just powerful. And none of these, none of these traps really hurt the ogres uh, too much at all. Right? They can pretty much walk right through them. So I have another trap that I've got set just special for the ogres that I haven't laid yet. And uh, hopefully we'll get a chance to see it because I believe there's one or two ogres on this level. <clears throat> right now I'm just making, oh, there's one in the background. You can see that big guy in the left coming through. That's an armored ogre. Oh, he's, he's, he's bad. He's bad. So he's going to come on right through. He's not, yeah, there's a jackal. Oh, I, those guys are fast. And I'm not, oh, he got past me. Crap. So I do have a knight that's on duty behind me. Um, gotta kill, okay, so, oh, the ogre's through. Oh, okay, play the trap. There it is. And so what that does is it converts them to your side. So now I have an o armored ogre on my side. I can't tell you how important that, um, like, look, oh, I just got whacked by an ogre and it, it knocked me senseless. So if I didn't have that other ogre in front of me, I'd be toast. But the armor, armored ogre, he's going to essentially, he's going to take out everybody. Um, he's hard to kill. The only way that I could normally kill him is if you just freeze him and then get headshot after headshot after headshot, which does a lot of damage. All right, so we beat the level, and I got the armored ogre on my side. And that's basically it, right? So you have level after level after level. That was one of the earlier levels in the game, but on the nightmare level, which is difficult. Um, uh, it also, I showed you a lot of the weapons. You build those weapons up over time. So if you start playing the game and you're thinking, where are all the weapons that he had? Eh, you got to work your way up. Uh, but generally, the early levels aren't too terribly difficult and you can, you can almost blast through every level in the beginning just simply with a barricade and a tar trap and some spiky spikes which you'll you'll see as well I didn't use those so much but I hope you uh, hope you take some time hope you have some time maybe check the game out uh, if you do love to hear how it goes post in the comments below uh, have fun take care and we'll see you next time